because you're going to invest your capital into a home, right? So you just want to make sure that uh, the amount or the money is definitely set, at least set up, is at least setting up a good home uh, for ourselves. So that right now with the new knowledge in Feng Shui, right, I think I'm also being more picky about the homes that I can get. But one thing for certain is that there definitely must be amenities here. Right now, currently, there's only one hill here. So that's one thing that I'm like considering if I were to buy a home here. Okay, it's really huge all the way. So today I am visiting dairy farm residences. While walking up, right, you definitely see that uh, since the road is coming down, so there are hills here already. Hills and water are fundamentals of Feng Shui. So I'll just be walking one round of, around this whole area, which uh, I'm actually reaching soon. Um, how I got to know about dairy farm residences was more of a uh, I was just standing outside at a bus stop at Orchard Road. So there was this uh, little bus, mini bus, that came out and I decided, hey, why not? Uh, because the area that I stay doesn't really have hill, doesn't really have hills or water. So I decided, hey, why not let's focus on a home at, with a supportive environment. So that's why I head over to these dairy farm residences. Uh, I'll still be putting in more snapshots of the whole assessment. So this part is about the get going around the whole building, the site, right? And just to take note, uh, when would the building be most likely ready? So I'm still standing in front of this uh, board. So it says uh, expected date of vacant possession is 29 February 2024. That is where there is a change of a transition from period 8 to period 9 that determines the whole uh, Shenkong Flying Stars chart that would be put onto this home. I'm continuing to walk and this part is the car park. So particularly that side, you can see that the slope of the road is definitely sloping down. So definitely as what we can see from uh, the Google terrain, uh, which I need to credit uh, Kevin Chan for teaching me a new way of uh, Assessing the landforms of an environment. Thus, the intention today of coming down to this uh, site was more of to give myself an exercise and also to walk through the whole terrain and probably also determine where this particular property or the block facing would be because that will definitely determine uh, the Shenkong Flying Stars. And after that, based on the chart, that will also determine how we might want to set up and configure the whole room okay, so this part is really going to be about the facing of the whole property development okay so just uh, looking at that so this part this front part uh, that part is the hill right so this front part is all going to be all the swimming pool but the homes is going to be more on that side right because if you just take a look maybe the shorter uh, buildings right in height they'll be around directly this place whereas the taller ones will be probably at around that area now as i think each building will still have its own facing even though um, on the whole general level i don't think it's really facing over that side because you know it looks a bit odd to look over the to look over into the courts of the of that german the german school okay so you will either be facing this side or across to the side but as just now I mentioned uh, there's one substation there so I think the whole facing will be more of uh, facing to this side that's gonna be on the whole uh, property development whole project but nevertheless what still matters the most I think will still be the individual facing of each block then find the corresponding either period 8 or period 9 because this time it was mentioned that the expected occup uh, home occup occupancy would be probably in 2024 that's where period 8 and period 9 transits so I will do both period 8 and period 9 recordings of the function assessment this is what I wanted to record down for the ground assessment so continue watching the assessment that I will do at home